Good morning. I'm out here at the field this morning and thought I'd give an overview of my Vario, Bell 47G. So this model is about a year old. Built this about a year ago. Um, and there's a few things about Vario that if anybody ever wanted to build a Vario helicopter, <laughs> um, uh, they get I can say the difference between Vario and Roban, because I, I got both, is the Vario's really is more, leaves it up to the imagination of the builder to, as far as painting and what you want to do with cockpit, scale, accessories, tons of scale accessories. But everything is a la carte, kind of, so you buy everything separately. So, for instance, this, uh, there is a quarter scale version of this model. Uh, this is what I think 1.6 is what they call it. Um, so when you buy something like this, for instance, you buy a fuselage kit. And the fuselage kit is basically the, the lattice frame. Um, I believe it comes with the cockpit and you get the choice of a smoked or clear uh, canopy. Uh, this one did come with the hoppers and uh, the tanks. Uh, this is an electric model, of course. And then this part back here. Um, but and, that, and that's it. That's the fuselage kit. And then the landing gear. You pick your landing gear. There's a couple different kinds of that. Uh, this is a more of a scale version than what I have here. And then your mechanics is the, the big part. Mechanics. Uh, is basically made to fit these particular models, so you you buy that. The rotor head is not part of the mechanics, so you have to buy that separate. Uh, it did come with the tail rotor assembly, and so and then of course the blades. Um, I believe it came with tail blades for some strange reason, but not main blades. So I did a few things on this model. Um, let me come around this side here. Pull this around. So uh, in the instructions, what they what they want you to do, or the way this is actually supposed to be done, is these mechanics here actually push through, or you're supposed to cut open the inside of the canopy, uh, and the mechanics on I mean, this canopy is pushed back the mechanics actually fit and they'll come right through here and I I didn't want to have to cut that and have the mechanics inside so I basically added this piece of this is actually wood that I filled and and painted moved the uh, canopy out about well, it's about an inch and a half or so and that gave me enough room to not have to cut the canopy open and if you if you look at it it almost it doesn't look bad. It really looks pretty good, in my opinion. And this way, I didn't have to cut anything, and the canopy's still whole. Now, in the quarter scale version, of course, you don't have to do any of that. Um, so, so that's one thing. And then the other thing with the mechanics is this is a uh, 90 degree EC CPM. So, four servos. So, there's an extra expense there when it comes to picking servos and stuff. I'm just running a B stacks in this one, um, and then the batteries. Um, there's really no place to put batteries on these things, and I was warned about that. So I came up with this. I'm basically using four three cell batteries, all wired in series, to get 12s. And I can pop this off. I can show you if I can pop this off. to put the phone down. There we go. So what I got here is I've got, I can't really see too good. Um, I've got one 3S battery on this side strapped. I've got one 3S battery behind this hopper strapped. And then I've got two underneath the seat here. And they're all wired in series to give me 12S. 
I got about seven minutes of flight time. Maybe even a little bit more if I pushed it out. Um, they're they're 5,000 milliamp packs. So, but in order to to get to these batteries, I've <laughs> I've got to take the the glass off, take the pilot out, take the seat out, and then they're underneath there. And of course, I'm running a separate uh, receiver pack with this. Uh, the blades are spin blades, 800 millimeter. Uh, counterclockwise rotating asymmetrical blades very nice blades it's got a really nice sound when it when it flies um, I'm gonna I really like to turn down the sensitivity on this thing um, just to make it look a little more scale it's extremely sensitive and I don't really like Expo but I was thinking maybe to put just a little bit of Expo in just to soften up the center to to get that little bounciness away so it'll look more scale when it's when it's flying but um, the tail this is uh, a complete Vario design um, it's all what do they call it I guess it's plastic but it's like injection molded to something or other um, and it's it's lighter it's really the only tail that you could use on this thing on this model anyway um, the torque tube it's a torque tube drive. They've got a pretty, pretty cool coupling. I don't know if I can get a picture of that. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's almost like a, like a universal joint type drive. Um, so that's pretty cool. But the only thing about this too is there is no auto rotation gear. Now you've got a, a freewheel here for that, but the tail. If you had to auto rotate this thing for any reason, you're going to be SOL because the tail, there's no freewheel in the tail. So when when the motor stops, the tail rotor stops. So you're not going to be able to auto rotate this if that should ever happen. Um, I thought about a way of uh, modifying that somehow. Um, they, they sell a bunch of parts, but without having the stuff in my hand, I didn't want to take a chance because everything comes from Germany. So um, this I actually got from Peak Aircraft. So anyway, that's it. Just thought I'd give a quick overview before anyone gets here to the field. This is the uh, Vario Bell 47G 2 um, in the 1.6 scale. Uh, really, really nice... Uh, scale detail nice flying machine um, weighs about I did weigh it if I remember right now it's about a year old so I think it comes in around it's under 20 pounds somewhere around 18 pounds all up and then most of that weight is <laughs> is battery so but anyway um, I got some videos of it I'm going to take it home after today and uh, see if I can't mess with the the B stacks a little bit, try and soften up the uh, the controls a little bit. So there it is. Thanks for watching.